because it has those yellow tones in it. A little peekaboo of this skirt and a peekaboo of the bra. It's definitely out of my comfort zone, but I feel like it kind of works. So I, along with I think many other people, struggle to look at my closet and put stuff together. And so I impulsively buy new things because I'm like, well, I don't like the stuff that's in there. Let's just buy something new. And that's how we got to this, where I had to do massive closet cleanouts because I just have too much stuff and it's overwhelming and I still have the same problem where I look at it and I don't know what to do with it. So what changed my mindset and what I am trying to do in 2024 is you don't hate your clothes, you just don't know how to wear them. So it's called shopping your closet. I went and shopped my closet this morning. I picked a few staple pieces that I feel like I don't wear very often or at all. And I went on Pinterest and I went on TikTok and I was trying to find like outfit inspiration and stuff that's related to that. So for example, these blue trousers, I looked up trouser pant outfits and I tried to find something that fit my style that I could be inspired by. Doesn't necessarily mean that I recreated the outfit, but I was inspired by it and it gave me a new mindset as to how I can wear the clothes that I already own. I put together five outfits, but it's really six because one of them doubles as two. I switched out jeans for a skirt just to show two different ways to wear the same sweater. So we are going to go ahead and try these outfits on and shop my closet so that I could be more minimal. Let me preface with I don't have an extensive style. I don't know how to look at a piece and know exactly how to put it together. Like I've said in previous videos, my body has changed, my style has changed. My mindset on clothes has changed and I just want to be a mix of comfortable but still look good. I have nothing like special about my fashion. I'm not like an influencer girly that knows exactly how to put their clothing together, but I am just a girl who likes to look good and feel good and be comfortable all at the same time. So before I go ahead and try on these outfits, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are so close to a thousand friends and I'm so excited. By the time this video goes up, we might already be at a thousand friends and I would be so excited. I love interacting with you guys. I love chatting with you guys on my community channel. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you do. I post every single day either polls or questions or threads on my community channel. So make sure you check that out and let's get straight into the video. The first item in my closet that I wanted to try to style is this yellow cable knit sweater. I thrifted this a few weeks ago and I feel like I just haven't figured out how to wear it besides just wearing it with a pair of jeans, which is totally fine. And that's usually what I do because it's easy. You add a little pop of color, you tuck it into some jeans, you wear some sneakers with it and it's cute. Let me show you. This is definitely a comfort outfit for me. This is what I normally wear. I typically tuck the sweater into a pair of straight leg or wide leg jeans. I put some sneakers on with it. Today I'm wearing like my high top dunks and I pair a purse with it. I didn't have a purse that I thought looked super cute with this, but after looking at this one, I think it complements it perfectly. It has those undertones. It's the perfect little book bag. And I feel like this outfit is so cute. It's just a simple way to wear something colorful. And I'm not good with accessories just because my ears get super irritated with earrings, so I can't really wear them. But you could also accessorize this. You could throw a coat over it. It's just a super simple outfit, but it's the way you put it together that looks a little bit more elevated. Let me show you an alternative way that I would wear this sweater that's pushing my boundaries a little bit because again, this is my everyday kind of look. I'm a jeans girl through and through. I am comfort. I love comfort. This is comfort. This is practical. But let me show you how I would pair it with a skirt that I actually thrifted yesterday. I thrifted this skirt and I thought it would actually be perfect because it has those yellow tones in it. It's super cute and let's try it on. I, I'm trying to mix more patterns and textures because I was always afraid of that before, but with this pattern and this floral, I feel like they would just complement each other. And here is 
that second outfit. The second outfit is definitely out of my box per usual, like that I usually wear. I'm a sneaker girl, I'm a jeans girl, like I said, but I felt like this skirt was a perfect alternative because it's so comfortable. I don't have to be afraid of like moving around in it. It does have a slit in the back, but it's not like too high to the point where I'm scared. It actually adds something to it. I did a bra tuck on the top just to give it like a more tiered effect so that it would flatter my body better where it goes in at my waist. I paired it with a different purse. I also thrifted this one, but I loved the orange tones in this and how it matched the orange tones of the shoes. I feel like this outfit is perfect for like a spring date or like a spring day with your girls or like even running errands. If you change out the shoes for something a little bit more practical, I actually really like this. I feel like it's super out of my box, but it looks elevated. It looks cute. All the colors complement each other, even though I have a lot of colors going on. Hi, Nacho. Let's move on to outfit number two. So outfit number two, we are going in a completely different direction. All of these outfits are super different while still being in my style, but this shirt I got off of Depop a few months ago and I've never had a chance to wear it because I just couldn't find the confidence to wear it or the way to style it where I like it and I feel comfortable. But I looked up some inspiration pictures and I feel like I found something that really would work for me. I'm going to wear like a black lace bra underneath to add some texture and I'm gonna pair it with my black little skirt so that it complements the black bra. So I paired it with this cream or this beige purse because I feel like it tied it all together. I added some leather boots so that it all goes together. It's elevated. I feel like this outfit is going to be super cute and I'm really excited to try it on because this is a way that I would feel comfortable styling it. And I also do have a black leather jacket to throw on in case you are wearing it in the colder weather. So let's try on outfit number two and how I would style it. outfit number two I feel like I like it even more than I expected to I only buttoned one of the buttons on the top so that you could get a little peekaboo of this skirt and a peekaboo of the bra I wasn't sure at first with pairing this purse with it because there are no similar colors in it but I actually feel like it kind of ties everything together I love the little peekaboo I love that you can see that it all matches it's comfortable it's not like too showy and I feel like the cream seams on the boot actually tied to the top so I love this I feel like it's borderline sandwich method because you're sandwiching all the different colors together and the purse just ties it all together by adding a little bit of a pop I think it's comfortable it's not like too revealing which is out of my comfort zone nothing is too tight the skirt is tight but I feel like the shirt off balances it while still being super flattering and here it is with the leather jacket. I feel like it definitely gives it a different vibe because before it was super dainty and girly. And now with this intense of a leather jacket, it does add more of a intense vibe. I don't know what the right word would be for that. But I feel like the jacket actually complements the boots because the boots have that same kind of style. But you still like feminize it with the sleeves and with the dainty little top. I just feel like this is so cute and I actually wanna wear this and I'm so excited that I actually found a way to style this top. So shop your own closet, you might be surprised. Let's move on to outfit number three. For outfit number three, I really wanted to try to style this super bright sweater. I don't wear a ton of bright colors, so I feel like I've always just struggled to wear this. I don't think I like it that much with jeans, so that's a struggle, but I think I found a cute way to wear this, and I'm excited to try it and see if it works. So I have this dress that I got off of Depop a long time ago. It's from Zara, and it has a very different pattern from the sweater, but it does share some similar base colors. And I was inspired by Pinterest outfits where you would put the white dress under the sweater. And I do have one, but it's a little bit too short. So I tried this under it. I haven't tried it on yet, but I put this under it. And I feel like it could be a super cute outfit, especially if I belt it and bring this up so that it gives more of a flattering tuck effect. <laughs> So here is 
outfit number three, and I do feel like it's my least favorite so far. It's definitely out of my comfort zone, but I feel like it kind of works in a funky way. Like if I'm feeling bold, I could definitely get away with this. I almost wish I had a skirt this color that didn't have a pattern, but okay, vote in the comments. Do we love this or do we hate this? Because when I was growing up, it was like, do not mix patterns. <laughs> patterns mixing is not a thing. But now a lot of people mix patterns. Is this too much? What is your guys' thoughts on this? I do feel like the white boots are very cute and complimentary to the purse. It, there's no white in the outfit, so it is like a stark contrast, but that's kind of what I was going for. I actually, as I'm wearing it, it's kind of growing on me. I feel like it's fun. It's different. It's definitely like not in my normal bubble, but I do feel like it's such a fun way to style this and it does give me other ideas. If I had like an orange slip dress or even like a white slip dress, I feel like it would be so cute. And I did do the belt method, which I feel like is really cute. It made the skirt a lot shorter, so let me show you it without it. It does give a more loose effect, which I also think is pretty cute, especially if you like fluff it up like this. Okay, I kind of like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So for this outfit, the goal was to style this quilted skirt. If you watched my last closet cleanup video, you saw me try this on and I was so surprised that I owned it. I remembered it once I tried it on, but like I've never worn this and I remember loving it so much when I picked it up at the thrift store and I think I just forgot that it existed. So I wanted to style this because I really want to wear this. So the two colors that I noticed in this skirt were this really pretty burgundy and this really pretty blue and I happen to have a blue shirt exactly that color. So I paired it with this blue shirt at first and then I thought it's a little bit too simple. Like if I just wear this with black boots, it's a little bit too simple. I'm not elevating anything. Like I'm just going back to my normal habits, but then I realized I have a burgundy pleather jacket that I feel like would look so cute and it ties all the colors together in the skirt and I'm so excited to try this on. I threw in this vintage purse. It has like a reddish burgundy stripe. I feel like it can add another texture because we're going so non-patterned on the tops but we have a pattern on the skirt i just feel like it can add another layer of elements and i'm wearing this with my little black boots so let's try this outfit on i'm so excited for this one so here is the outfit before i put the pleather jacket on i do feel like this outfit's so cute the skirt actually goes with the purse like perfectly even though they are clashing patterns I feel like it just adds something. This blue is literally the perfect blue for the skirt where it's not too much blue, but it just it looks like it goes together. The little black boots add a little bit without being a heel or without being uncomfortable. I could go run errands in this right now and be perfectly fine, which is weird because I don't wear skirts very often. But let's try with the pleather jacket. I love this. Let me do a little peekaboo of the blue. And oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this outfit. Okay, I'm definitely gonna wear this sometime very soon. I feel like I just, like all the colors mesh so perfectly together. I would have never put this top with this jacket just because the colors, but I'm actually obsessed with this outfit. Let's move on to the fifth and final outfit, which is the simplest of them but I wanted it to be, well, I guess it's not simpler than the yellow sweater with the jeans, but it is the most like least layered outfit. So let's try on outfit number five before we finish this video. I completely forgot to talk about this outfit. With this outfit, what I really wanted to style was these really bright blue trousers. Like I said earlier, I don't wear a lot of bright colors, but I absolutely love the fit of these trousers. I bought them a long time ago. I'm obsessed with them. I just haven't, like, I don't know. I stare at them, I'm not, stare at them and I'm like, hmm, okay, how do I wear those? That's still comfortable for me where I still feel confident. And I think I found a way. I'm styling it with this baggier turtleneck white sweater. It has a little bit of texture. It has these stripes. So I feel like it'll add something to it while I'm still super comfortable. And then to make it even more comfortable, 
and less formal with the trousers. I am pairing it with just some white sneakers. I don't have a purse to go with this. I might throw the white purse with it. I just don't have one that matches this outfit very well. But I feel like with trousers, I don't want to look too formal. I do want to dress it down, but I still want to look nice. So let's try these on and see with this outfit if I feel comfortable and confident enough to wear it. Okay, I'm actually so excited about this outfit because I love these trousers. Just like the fit of them and everything is perfect for my body type and I, I, I'm actually so excited I saved this one for last. I wasn't sure because it is the most like simple, it doesn't have as many layers, but I feel like the sneakers are what makes me feel super comfortable because I'm doing the sandwich method with the top and the sneakers. I feel like it draws the attention to my outfit in the right ways. I feel like the sneakers dress it down enough for me to feel comfortable where I don't feel like I'm going to work in this outfit. And this sweater is like baggy and casual enough to be comfortable, but it's still elevated with the texture. Let me throw it on with the white purse and see what I think. I feel like it might be too much white, but okay, wait, actually, that's so cute. And I'm tempted to wear this today, but like, how cute is this outfit? This is why you need to shop your closet. And just like that, I have six new outfits that I can wear and feel confident in and know that I have in my closet and I'm so excited. I feel like sometimes I just neglect I just neglect my closet and I just think, yeah, there's no way to make that cute. There's no way to make that my style. But then I hold on to it anyways because I'm like, but I really do like it. Like the blue trousers. I've had those for like two years and I've never worn them, not once. But now I know exactly how I can wear them and how they look super cute and I'm so excited because all it takes is, for me at least, is to take one item. So for that one, I took the blue trousers and I said, I've had these for years. It's either I need to figure out a way I can wear them or they need to go. That is the point in life that I'm at. I just need to let go of things that I can't style. So. I don't think it's that I dislike the items. I think it's that I didn't know how to wear them. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite outfit out of these or what you would have changed. And if you think that that third outfit is cute or not, I'm still undecided. I feel like it could be really cute, maybe with some different shoes. Super excited to wear these six new outfits. I feel like they're all for very different occasions, for very different days, and that was the intention. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, and if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I post every single Wednesday and Saturday. I will see you next time. Bye!